Some weeks later, Nigel arrived on the Blue Bell Railway, and the men set to work making minor repairs and giving Nigel a fresh coat of paint. To his surprise, instead of touching up the British Railway's black livery, the men had repainted Nigel in his former LNER green livery. Nigel was dozing in the morning sun when a small tank engine came to a stop alongside him to take on water. Hello there, greeted the tank engine cheerfully. You must be our newcomer, Nigel. My name is Stepney, oh, but I suppose you would have already guessed that because it's painted in large letters on my side tanks. Nice to meet you, Stepney, replied Nigel. I thank my lucky stars I'm here. I seriously thought I'd be standing in a scrapyard somewhere by now. That's something almost all of us have in common on the bluebell, put in Stepney. We've all faced an uncertain future at one time or another. Have you ever heard of the North Western Railway? asked Nigel. This made Stepney smile. Why, yes, I have, dear chap. Not long ago I went there for a visit. One of the finest railways in the United Kingdom. Still running mainline steam and resistant to the modernisation plans. Fine set of engines there, too. It will be nice to see for myself one day, mused Nigel, looking up at the sky. Oh well, thanks for all, chirped Stepney. I must go. Nice talking to you, Nigel. And with a cheerful blast of his whistle, Stepney puffed away. All right, Nigel, me lad, said one of the workmen. Everything's checked out. Now we just need approval from the board of directors to take you out on a test train. Oh, thank you, sir, replied Nigel gratefully. Soon the directors gave their approval, and Nigel ventured out of the shed for his test run. It sure feels nice to run along the metals again, Nigel hummed to himself. The J-50 looked around and couldn't help but notice the heavy presence of engines who came from the southern region of BR. The test run went without a hitch, and the board of directors were impressed. Very well done, applauded the general manager. You've done well as a light engine. Now, let's see how you go pulling stock. Stock? asked Nigel. You mean trucks, sir? The general manager chuckled. <laughs> no, no. This is a heritage railway. We do not transport goods. You will be taking coaches. Nigel felt nervous. He had only ever taken goods, but being the determined engine he was, he steamed out of the shed and made his way to fetch the coaches. Nigel brought the coaches to the platform. The passengers were delighted to see such a different engine taking their train. Good luck, Nigel, called Stepney as he puffed by the opposite platform. Nigel whistled a cheerful thank you, but he didn't know how much he really needed good luck. The guard blew his whistle and scrambled into his compartment as Nigel jerked the train into motion. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go, he called to the coaches, and they followed obediently behind. Nigel's journey was going well, but it wasn't to last. As they neared the middle station, Nigel began to feel a burning sensation in his axles. The driver brought the train to an emergency stop. You've run a hot box, he said after the problem was discovered. Nigel felt terrible. Another engine was called to take the passengers the rest of the way. And Stepney shunted Nigel back to the shed. Never mind, comforted Stepney. It was only a hot axle box. 
Nothing which can't be fixed. Yeah, of course, replied Nigel doubtfully. He had a sinking feeling that this wasn't the end of his troubles, and in the months to come, he would be right. Due to his advanced age, Nigel began to suffer from a series of problems. Some days he wouldn't steam properly, other days he would complain of pain in his boiler. Many times when Nigel would be taken to pull visitors' trains, he often found himself stalling halfway and another engine having to be called to help the ailing old engine. One cold, damp morning, the general manager came with a team of workmen to inspect Nigel. After a long period of time inspecting and muttering, the general manager walked around Nigel's front. We neglected to address these problems when you first arrived, said the general manager in a surly tone. Over time your ailments have stacked up, and the only answer to your problems will be a complete overhaul. That can be easily taken care of, can't it? asked Nigel. The manager looked sadly at his feet, shaking his head. I'm afraid that due to our strained finances, we simply can't afford it. Nigel's face fell. What do you propose, sir? quivered Nigel. We will have to find a buyer who will be able to pay for your overhaul. If not, I'm not sure what will happen. <laughs>